Bonjour, je m'appelle Leah. Je m'appelle Sharon. Our apologies for missing last week. Once again, it was my fault. Real work. We're happy to be back to tell you about the region of Poitou Charente and its most famous daughter. Poitou Charente is just south of the Loire Valley, but it is far less visited than the chateau and vineyards of its neighbor. It's also a region that doesn't officially exist anymore. It was reorganized into Nouvelle Aquitaine in 2015, but we're keeping it separate for the benefit of our tour. Aquitaine is simply too large to cover in one episode. Poitou Charente is in central France. It borders the Atlantic Ocean and is mostly rural. Its two largest cities are the university town of Poitiers and the port of La Rochelle. For tourists, the chief attractions will be along the coast, particularly the Isle de Ré and Oleran. Another hot spot is the Futuroscope theme park north of Poitiers. Poitiers is significant in Europe. European history because it was near there that in 732 the Franks defeated the Moorish invaders from Spain, stopping the advance of Islam into the continent. Charles Martel, the Hammer, was the general responsible for the victory. His grandson was Charlemagne, and his many times great-granddaughter was born in Poitiers and is one of my favorite women of history, Eleanor of Aquitaine. This medieval queen of France and England continues to fascinate us centuries after her death. During her eight decades of life, she was a power in Europe and an original influencer. She was a patron of literature and the arts and established the ideas of chivalry. Eleanor was born around 1122 into an interesting family. Her grandfather, William the Ninth, was the earliest troubadour whose work survived. He was a lyric poet in the Occitan language. He had a reputation for seducing women, and his verses tell of this prowess. One of his conquests was Dangerous, Viscountess of Châtelerat, the wife of a vassal. His own wife was not pleased to have another woman installed in her home, but could find no one to assist her in evicting her husband's mistress. The church excommunicated William, but no matter. He continued to live with Don Jerus, and to add insult to injury to his furious wife, he married his son to Don Jerus's daughter. Those would be Eleanor's parents. On the death of her father, Eleanor became the Duchess of Aquitaine, one of the largest and wealthiest realms in the Kingdom of France. The teenager was wed almost immediately to King Louis VII. By all accounts, Louis adored her, but they were an odd match. Plain, pious Louis and beautiful, free-spirited Eleanor. It didn't last, but she did have some grand adventures as Queen of France. She and her ladies-in-waiting shocked Europe when they joined the king on the Second Crusade, often dressed in full armor. Eleanor came as the leader of her troops from Aquitaine. She never fought, but she was born to command. Unfortunately, her husband refused to heed her military advice, and the defeated Louis returned to France without his furious wife. She was granted an annulment to the marriage, and her vast estates in Aquitaine were returned to her. Almost immediately, Eleanor married the Duke of Normandy, who soon became King of England. She had eight children with Henry II, including three sons who were kings of England. She was the mother of Richard the Lionheart and King John. You'll remember him as the hapless villain of the Robin Hood tales. Eleanor sided with her sons in revolt against their father. For this, he imprisoned her for 16 years. This period of her life was depicted in the 1968 film The Lion in Winter. Catherine Hepburn won an Oscar for her portrayal of the formidable Eleanor. Eleanor was also a character in Shakespeare's King John, and she's been featured in many modern histories and novels. She died in 1204 and was buried at Fontevrault Abbey near Chinon. Her home in Poitiers, Le Palais de Justice, can be visited today. For more info on Eleanor and Poitiers, visit our website at twofems.com. 
And if you speak French, check out the link in the description to a recommended video that gives a more extensive history of Eleanor. We'll be back next week with a look at the gastronomy of Poitou-Charentes. A bientôt! A bientôt!